welcome this is the original frame that I'll be creating during this video in my crappy outdoor workshop in the Riverland SA here is where I put the whole sword through a small block of timber had some cross sections cut into the back uh, this will help as a guide so I'm going to drill through that so I'm going to demonstrate that in a second it will be routed up later I've cut a corner off as this will create a nice feature in the frame. So once I've geared up with my safety equipment I use my little magnifier that you saw, saw me holding earlier and I use this as a magnifier to assist in accuracy where I'm going to put the drill bit of the hole saw in the drill press and I need to get this perfect because this will help with the uniform structure of the frame. So as you can see, here's the router bit with a very large reverse bull nose in it, which will come out as a bull nose on the actual outside of the little block of timber. So once I've geared up, I'm just going to double check to make sure that I've got all of these little pieces up the right way. I don't want to router the wrong side, too much of a pain in the ass to do all that process all again. So the router will get adjusted a couple of times in depth wise. So you can see the middle gets routed out, then the outside edge, bit by bit by bit. Repeat process, and once again that uh, router bit will be adjusted height wise, depth wise because as you can see it's got a bull nose on the inside but it's got an instep to it and then I've got a nice bull nose on the outside and it will be ready for sanding shortly so I'll put some spaces here on the back because this will go in to the rebate of the frame itself and these inlays will get put in as well. That bit will be taped off and then the whole thing will get spray painted. So it's important too to make sure I've got everything just right here too. I just want to map it all out before I um, conduct any more work, any staining or anything like that. I just want to make sure I'm not going too over the top and my accuracy, I might have to cut another piece. Um, there could be some failures there, so I just want to make sure it's just right. So here I'm applying stain. It's a dark mahogany. This is an old trick that any picture framer will use if you're going to put gold leaf over the top of your uh, frame. You put a stain underneath, or even uh, gold spray paint or bronze, because this will actually help bring depth to the next layers that go over the top. Any picture frame will do this. And you can see I've got lots of other components for other projects uh, that I've machined at, up at the same time because unfortunately the spray paint sometimes does not like being open for more than about three or four days so I've got to use it up. It doesn't matter how clean you try and keep the, the nozzle. And also these are little experiments also you can see on the right hand side there for other projects so now I remove the duct tape now that it's been sprayed and you can see where also where the little cross cuts are clean them up with a little bit of wood putty as well just to make it nice and clean now any blemishes I'll get off with some gum turpentine so here's all the other pieces ready to go for other projects I just never know what a customer wants so it's important to be ahead of the game. So here is the gold trim being glued and clamped into place with the corner pieces as well. You can see a spray paint at the outside of the frame as well. And the inlays of the darker timber are ready to go in as well. So it's quite a lengthy process. This can take a couple of days for it all to be glued and clamped together. So on the outside edge there, on the right, 
you can see the darker stained timber which is a dark mahogany and that's golden oak stain and that will all get screwed into place now the varnish has gone on this is second coat and you can see I've put also a little blank from another project as well just to sort of create some interesting features to the frame you can see that stains come up really dark too so that uh, dark mahogany is really zinging there so this will get um, cleaned up with a very light sand clean off any blemishes and this will have another two coats of varnish with a repeat process so here we are with the completed artwork that uh, is of oil paint on board and it's of uh, Martin's Bend which is a nature reserve walking trail on the edge of Berry, South Australia a little country town up towards the SA Victoria border lots of beautiful old trees that it uh, unfortunately did not live through giant bush, bushfires in the 80s so you can follow me on Facebook at Handcraft Furniture and Picture Frames and here I am at an exhibition at Community Living Options in February 2020 at Marion, South Australia, Exhibition Space. So thanks for watching and please be patient.